Hello everyone, it's Robert and it's Friday and that means it's time for new products. So let's see what we've got for this week. This is the Encyclopedia of Electronic Components, Volume 1. This one covers resistors, capacitors, inductors, switches, encoders, relays, and transistors. And what's interesting about this book is it actually goes into quite a bit of um, depth about what each one of these different things are. It talks about batteries, we're talking about headers, we're talking about you know, different types of fuses there. And it kind of has this nice comprehensive explanation about what all these different parts are and how they're used. Pretty much anyone can learn something from this book. It doesn't just go into a resistor is this, a capacitor is that. It talks about all the different types of capacitors, how they're used, what kind of circuits can benefit from them. This is a great book for beginners as well as people just wanting to maybe further their knowledge beyond, you know, the intermediate phase. Or if that's what you're into, you can sit down on your Friday night and read this thing. This little guy is the SI4707 Breakout. This is a weather band radio breakout board. And if you're not familiar with weather band, it's um, a completely different frequency band from AM and FM, and it is used specifically for weather information. The other interesting thing about this board is it actually has a SAME processor. SAME stands for Specific Area Message Encoding. So if you've ever heard weather broadcast, they always kind of start with this tone and then they go into the broadcast. Well, this can actually decode that tone and it can tell you if it's like a tornado warning or whatever. So what you could do is you could have this board sitting there, um, you know, receiving the weather band in and then say, I want to respond only to tornado warnings or something like that. So you could have it then respond and either turn on and, you know, start playing what it's hearing over the weather band, or you could have it act and do different things like uh, make a red light go or something like that. And there's a lot of different um, messages and it can decode all the different messages. So if you're looking to do anything with the weather band, this is a versatile little board. And lastly, we've got two new boards from Teensy. Here we've got the Teensy++ 2.0 and we've got the Teensy 3.0. Um, a lot of people have recommended over the years that we carry Teensy and here we go. We have these two boards from them. The difference between these two really is that if you want a lot of I.O. pins, check out this guy. As you can see, it has a lot of pins. Everything is broken out. Both of these can be used with the Arduino IDE environment. So they're very similar to like our own Pro Minis or something like that. It has a USB on there, so you don't have to deal with an FTDI or anything. The Teensy 3.0 is actually a little bit more powerful. It has a 32-bit ARM processor on it and has a lot more features. You get a lot more PWMs, things like that. So if you need something a little bit beefier with a lot of interrupts, a lot of PWM, check out the Teensy 3.0. And if you need a lot of pins, check out the Teensy++ 2.0. So there you have it. These are some of the new products for this week. As always, check out the product post for the rest of the new products that we have. And um, I'm actually going to be on vacation for the next three weeks, but Nick will be filling in for me. So check back next week and you will see Nick and all the new products that we have.